A new chapter for publishers is starting in China. Back in 2005, Joe Lusby guided Penguin's entry into the market. Now that investment is paying off, with a growing demand for foreign books. For us as our business in China, the biggest area of growth is around our Chinese language publishing of foreign books in translation. But I think dominant part of the local publishing scene is Chinese voices for Chinese readers. We are very good at publishing foreign writers, or rather working with Chinese publishers to publish foreign writers into China because we understand these author brands. So we're able to publish things like Jamie Oliver in partnership with CITIC because we understand Jamie Oliver because we publish him in language everywhere in the world. Young readers are extremely important to us, but I would say actually we focus more on the even younger age group, up to about the age of 10. The most popular book in English would probably be something like The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. A child in the UK or the US will respond in a very similar way to a child in China. Penguin is also snapping up Chinese novels to sell outside China. This year, the book that's getting a huge amount of coverage in the UK um, is a book called Decoded by Mai Jia. It's an espionage literary novel. He was previously worked for the PLA, um, so he understands cryptology and espionage from the inside. With traditional publishing slowing down elsewhere, the rapid growth in reading and education in China is offering an attractive market for foreign books. According to the China International Publishing Group, in 2011, Chinese publishers bought more than 14,000 foreign book copyrights. As foreign books become more popular in China, more Chinese are coming to book cafes such as this one here in Beijing, offering English language books along with Chinese translations of them. Among them, this George Orwell novel, 1984. Young Chinese now make up a large portion of the bookworm's patrons. And some of our busy times, we are getting a lot more Chinese. We're probably at around 50 percent uh, at that point. But I think the ones that are specifically coming for literature would be the students, university age, uh, the Chinese that are more interested in learning about English, learning about Western culture. College student Ma Hao Yue is one of them. She works at the cafe to practice her English and to read more. Because I'm not a native speaker, I will look through them by the translator online. But it's not, it's not a barrier for me. We have some good translators in China, but everyone has a different mind and they will translate by different ways. As demand for foreign grows in China and more Chinese books get sold overseas, ensuring that their subtleties don't get lost in translation may prove challenging. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.